if you are convicted of one in the San Francisco Bay Area and any of the superior courts here in the nine Bay Area counties, um, is typically a one-year probation, which means obey all laws for a year and comply with the conditions of probation. And those conditions are typically that you have to do a minimum of a 12-hour DUI school, and um, you also have to do or pay a fine. The fine depends on which county this is in. If it's in San Mateo County, it's closer to $1,500. In other counties, it can be well under $1,000. In some counties, you get a lot of credits, like Oakland and Marin and San Francisco. The fines will be, or I should say Alameda, San Francisco and Marin. Those are counties that have much lower fines for wet recklesses. Um, there will not be DMV ramifications for the court conviction on a wet reckless. However, um, if you do not win the administrative per se civil case, the hearing with the DMV, your DMV hearing, then you're looking at um, having a uh, minimum of a four-month suspension where you can get a work-restricted license or an ignition interlock license to drive when you blow under one of the IID you know, interlock devices. <clears throat> And uh, you'd have to you'd have that for um, for four months is what would happen. And then if you wanted a work restricted license, uh, if you had a wet reckless but did not win your DMV hearing, you'd be looking at uh, one month of no driving followed by six months of work restricted driving. Um, it also is something that goes on your record, but after the year of probation, you can contact your attorney and, and hire them to do an expungement. Um, so that uh, that you can tell potential employers once it's expunged that you do not have a conviction and it would also show up on your criminal record as the case has been dismissed. So that can be a help for a lot of people. It, it helps some, it doesn't help others, but it's worth talking to your attorney about. Uh, wet reckless is two points on your DMV record and it will typically um, affect your insurance. So penalty wise, there's a lot going on here, and it is it is definitely priorable as a DUI. So if you get another DUI arrest within 10 years and you have a wet reckless conviction, even though it was a wet reckless, it still counts as a prior DUI conviction. So be very aware of that and be very careful. While you're on that one-year probation for the wet reckless, um, you're required to obviously obey all laws, which is a condition of probation, but you're also required to have no alcohol in your system when you're driving. So you can get separate charges if you have a drink or two in your system and you're below the 08 legal limit. But if you're at or above a 0.01, uh, you're looking at a probation violation and potentially other new charges and license suspensions. So it is a lesser charge than a, a DUI in California and in the San Francisco Bay Area. A wet reckless um, still has ramifications. And, you know, if you can get one, it, great for many situations. Sometimes um, it's not, it doesn't do that much for you. But in most situations, it, it does. And you need to find an experienced DUI lawyer to, uh, to help you get the best results you can, whether it's a dismissal or a wet reckless or getting rid of some additional charges that, that have been uh, slapped on with your, your regular DUI charges that may cause additional heartache and, and um, punishment if you are convicted of a DUI.